Hello, beautiful. I'm feeling exhausted and I want to go take a nap. But today we're watching people do extreme makeovers on their own hair. So hopefully that will pick me up. Let's do it. This video is by Eve. Last time you saw me, I had rainbow hair. But right now, as you can see, it's blue. I've reacted to this girl before and she had some really, really cool hair last time. And she got some roots going on. Listen, I know her work and I feel like this is gonna be really good. So we're dying again. So this is the bleach. I'm I'm gonna be using freeze ice. Okay, we're doing the box. High lift bleaching kit with inbuilt silver rising toner for ultimate high lift blonde. You're way too experienced at coloring your own hair to be using box style. You know what you need, Eve? It's a whole f hub of bleach because I know you're in there all the time lightening your hair. Stop with the box style. Just use 30 volume and powder lightener next time. It'll be easier. I'm thinking pink and yellow, but I doubt this blue is going to come out very easily. So as you can see, my roots are really coming through and then it's blue. I haven't d bleached my roots since I've got my rainbow hair, so it's been like two months. Um, I don't know how the difference. I assume my roots will go lighter and this will just stay blue because that's how blue dye works. Blue dye just doesn't leave. I feel like she's going to end up with actually a really nice icy platinum blonde once she just relightens those ends a little bit, does maybe a little bleach wash, something like that. But it shouldn't be that hard. So good thing it's blue and not like pink. Pink's really difficult to get out. Got these colors, I got pink, bubblegum blue, candy floss, and anarchy UV. Ooh, so we're doing a lot of different colors here. Ah, okay, we're going in with the lightener. Hopefully she's left the beautiful canvas so we can do some really fun things. Um, okay, so she's actually doing the blue parts first, which I wouldn't recommend just because like, you don't know if they're gonna lighten really quickly. They're already lightened, already compromised. You don't wanna then go on them with more lightener before you retouch your roots. You wanna do the lightener on the roots first, lighten them to a nice yellow stage, and then bring the lightener down onto your blue ends. That way everything lightens at the same time and you end up with a beautiful even palette when everything's done being processed. Your hair might snap off because you're gonna have to leave it on your roots until it's done being processed and you don't know how long that's gonna be. Probably 45 minutes. So that's a long time to have lightener on your ends processing over your already bleached compromised hair. <gasps> It's morning, it's like 10 a.m. And I thought I would show you my hair properly. <laughs> and scary iPhone clips. Um, so this is what I was worried about. This is the exact thing that I was just describing. Her roots did not process enough because she rinsed off her ends that were already processed. And now she has dark roots and lighter ends. And it's all just a big old Yes. I've never bleached it before and it come out this white. This is really light. But that's because you lightened blue out of your hair. The leftover blue in your hair is canceling out that natural yellow pigment. So you're getting this really ashy white color. And that's why your hair looks really, really light. And it might not be because it's actually like damaged and, oh, and uh, it's definitely damaged, but. I remember pulling some of the strands and little bits of hair. <laughs> Coming out. We're losing hair. I did my second round of bleaching and I literally left it on for like less than five minutes because I just got nervous. Ah. So she did another round of bleaching like she said and she left it on only for five minutes because she got nervous. <laughs> no, don't ever do that guys. Honestly, lightener does very, very little in five minutes. And also when your hair's at this yellow stage, oh my God, for some reason, the yellow just does not want to come out and you really need to process that for another 25, 30 minutes like or else it's just not going to come out. And also lightener can just be deceiving because it like looks really light on your hair and really white but like when you rinse it off it's not. So you really got to do like a test strand or like wipe the lightener off of one strand to see how it's going or just, you know, there's a lot of different ways but you got to check before you rinse everything. I feel bad. It's going to be such a pain in the ass to keep applying this over and over and over again. You like my earring? I'm kind of obsessed with it. Look at this little like diamond on here. Like, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, earring. I'm kind of feeling cute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is this a clip-on earring? Yes. Do I feel like an old lady when I wear clip-on earrings? Yes, but do I love it? Yes. I feel like an old lady. Long story short, we gotta lighten that shit again. All right, we gotta get in there, bitch. Even though you don't want to. I know you don't. I don't want to do it, but pff. You gotta. I'm only gonna use three colors, I've decided. Um, I'm not gonna go full rainbow, but semi-rainbow. This is supposed to be an extreme makeover. This is turning into a big ass fail. So the first one I've got is this yellow, a little bit of anarchy UV, and some candy floss. And the last one is this, ballgum blue by Crazy Color, and I added a little bit of posidon. Those are the two colors I used to get the dark blue, which I really liked, but faded out. Hopefully the blue's going on her roots, or else I don't know 
how she's gonna do make this pull to come together. It's just gonna be <gasps> Ugly. Okay, she's putting blue on that section. Where are we going with this? We are doing yellow now. Got it. Okay. We're doing pink. Okay, she's gonna go for it. She is just gonna ignore those orange roots and just gonna go for it. Now, because she's doing a little bit of a rainbow moment, this could work. We could see this all come together. I really fuck. I'd be like, this is just gonna look great. Even though the sectioning is very, very, it's giving nothing. We're gonna put all of our faith into her. I would prefer her to do some cute sectioning and know where you're gonna put the next color, maybe do some planning before, but also why the fuck would you do that? Planning hair color is kind of tedious and boring and I don't love doing it, so I don't blame you. Okay, it's looking cool. Okay, this is already coming together. I like just decided to like, ignore how much blue was in my hair before. Like I knew that it was there but I just thought eh, worried about the effect the blue is going to have on the rest of the colour because some of the yellow as you can see looks a wee bit green. No it'll be fine. You honestly didn't have enough blue in your hair in order for it to really affect the colour I don't think. Except I'm um, just kidding I'm seeing a little bit of green happening there with the yellow mixing with the blue. Okay you're right it's gonna affect your colour. <laughs> Oh! We back! Oh! Okay, the colors are really pretty, but what does the root look like? That's all my concern. It looks cool. Washed it out. I kind of took each bit out separately and kind of rinsed it separately so it didn't really, you know, merge too much into it, I guess. That's a great thing that she just mentioned, by the way. If you're ever doing something like this, make sure you rinse each section individually or else all the colors are gonna run into each other. I'm so glad I, like, decided to invest in this camera because look how pretty. Look how green some bits look as well, though. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my god, she looks like a fairy princess. Um, I like it, happy with the result. My hair's literally fine, like it feels soft and healthy. How the hell did she end up with this? This masterpiece. So I don't know how the f her hair came out that good, but she looks so pretty. I am fully obsessed with that color that she ended up with. Great job. Great job, Eve. Another one, another slam dunk, and that definitely was an extreme makeover. Can we get the before and after here? I mean, look at this. Is that the same girl? I'm looking for that type of makeover in my life right now. This next video is by Mitra. Will Mitra be able to give us an even better extreme makeover today? Let's find out. Yet again, I wanna dye my locks. Considering that I'm gonna probably have to bleach my hair again, I might have to cut it. And since I already have a broken off piece here in the back, I might as well just cut it too. Right above here, my hair would be like this long. The color that I'm going for is ginger. I have previously dyed hair and not even all over my head. So I don't even know the exact spot, but I'm pretty sure it's about like right here. Half of my hair is dyed back to black. Underneath this, my hair is red. And underneath the red, there was a layer of <laughs> Oh. My hair was a level 9 to 10. Oh, girl! She wants to cut her hair short. She wants to go ginger. And her whole head wasn't lightened. It was just sections of her hair. This is scary! Is she gonna be able to accomplish this? Ah, uh, debatable. Hair up here is all virgin. That's what we're gonna be bleaching. On the right, we see the 30 volume developer and the bleach powder. We have the car removers and the vitamin C. Vitamin C and like anti dandruff shampoo, it'll take out the tiniest bit of color out of your hair, but not enough to get black out. So just skip that step next time. I don't think that this has worked at all. Surprise, the vitamin C did nothing. Let's move on. Just mixed up this bottle of color remover. I look like Hagrid right now. And I can apply it to the lower parts of my hair. And now the color remover. <coughs> I get what an awful, awful smell. Look at it. What this brush looks like now let me just start brushing i literally just cleaned my brush this is what just came out wait chill let's talk about this because why is your hair falling out that bad after just color remover and also it does not look any lighter what the hell and we'll cut it like this short and this video is gonna be a mess oh now she's cutting it off i love how messy this video is oh whoa yeah she needed that. Okay, this haircut's fun. I like this technique. Definitely gonna 
try <laughs> to get this to be a little bit more even. As I don't know what I'm doing whatsoever, this might just go very wrong. This is what I'm currently looking like. Oh, I love the little flip at the end she naturally has. It's so cute. Sorry I didn't film the entire bleaching process, but I wanted a moment to myself. Okay, well, we were back, guys. And she put lightener over her entire head and didn't show us the process, which I'm pissed about. I told you, I'm in a bad mood today. I want to see that whole process, but we got none of it. I guess we'll just see how this came out without my input. Hope that I didn't miss anything. If I did, then that sucks. I will say that it looks like she put a lot of lightener on her hair, and I'm really happy about that. It looks fully saturated, which nobody ever does. This looks great. But I'm quickly just gonna run the bleed. Oh! Girl, you're gonna get that in your eye. I really don't care. Not only did she put on her eyebrows, she put out on her entire face. All right, hey. My roots are really light. I'm sure that I got hot roots. I already saw that kind of in the shower. Let's see how we did. That oh. looks fairly light. It does. Oh, by the way, so far none of my hair fell out. So this is what it looks like. I'll go through it a little bit so you can see whether or not I missed. Yeah, the back is spotty, but she's going ginger. So it'll all be fine because her hair's orange and she's going orange. So she's lucky. There's like streaks of darkness and lightness going on, but I'm just going to call that off as dimension. I'm going to be Parting off my hair, I think that I want to make one batch that's a little bit lighter and one batch that's a little bit browner. Oh, we're getting creative now. I'm actually trying to make a shadow root actively, like it's not going to be that much lighter and darker. So regarding the colors, I'm using generally the same line of dyes because I want to make sure that they're compatible when mixing. And these are the Garnier Olea colors. I have this as my main color. I believe that is permanent color. Don't use permanent color. Use dye permanent color next time. So basically, just to summarize it, I had two oranges, one brown, one silver, and one rose gold. And for my roots, I mixed half brown and half orange. And for the rest of my hair, I mixed another batch of the entire rose gold, the entire silver, one and a half oranges, and half brown. I covered the entirety of my head. I now look like an alien. What was the point of that? You literally just mushed everything together. Why would you do so many different colors and waste your time with that? I'm so confused. Next time you do that and you want like different colors all over your head, you need to use foils or like separate it out in some way. That doesn't look too bad at all. I like that color a lot. How do I always get so lucky with my hair color? Look at how cute that color is. I love. Well, I'm so excited to see the style. I'm so confused. Why don't we end it with like a peachy color? I thought we were doing like a copper ginger. I have no business looking this cute with this hair. Look at it. This is really cute. It's so adorable. I love the color so much. I love the styling. Oh my god. I am very much feeling myself. Mm. This is it from the back and from the side. I feel so cute. I love it so much. How the hell did she end up here? I'm still very confused. Why do we use so many colors? What happened with that color remover? A lot of questions unanswered, but a great end look. Really, really, really pretty. Um, And the color looks nice and copper when it's dried. It, it looks Lala's pink. And I love the way she styled it. Yay! I'm glad it worked out. It made my mood a little bit better. Can we get a before and after here? How did she start there and go there? What? Looks like a different person. Well, those are definitely some extreme makeovers. I'm so happy it worked out for them and they looked incredible. I don't know how and I don't know why, but they did it. If you'd like to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, it is linked below for you. You can shop everything down below at xmodelhair.com. Also, you can check me out everywhere else here on my social media handles. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.